Hello everyone, some great news today. The Black Ops 3 mod tools have actually dropped officially, so we are now able to make custom zombie maps for Black Ops 3. So we're going to start up the tutorial series. So of course the first video is going to be setting these up. Now, thank you to the developers at Treyarch, uh, because the mod tools seem to be a lot more stable uh, than they were in World at War, and they're not as much of a pain to set up. So. It's all done through Steam, so you're going to need to buy Black Ops 3 for Steam, first of all, which I have done a while ago. And then there was an update pushed out today, which you're obviously going to need to download as well. Now, you're not going to have the mod tools off of that update. It's just a 1 gigabyte update. To download the mod tools, you're actually going to have to go to your library, and then you're going to have to go to Tools. Now, your Steam client might look a little bit different from this, because I'm using a custom skin. Uh, but yeah, you're going to go to your library, you're going to go to Tools. And then right down here, you're going to find Black Ops 3 mod tools, uh, right under the Black Ops 1 ones. Here is where you're going to actually click install. You're going to right click on it and click install game. Uh, I've already done so. Uh, I think the download is around 20 gigabytes, so you just go ahead, let that run, and then when you have it, you can go ahead and launch it. We get this beautiful little command prompt. And look at that! The launcher just opens right up for us. There's no messing around like in World at War with having to install the updates in specific orders and having to install the mod tools and the mod, to mod tool updates in specific orders. And then, like, we shouldn't be having the uh, problems that were listed in the comment section for the World at War custom tutorial series because this is all very, uh, it's a lot cleaner and it's a lot less ridiculousness to set up. So, as we can see with the launcher, it, they've paid respect to the to the World at War mod tools. It still has the same kind of launch icon. It looks a little bit cleaner, uh, but it, it's very similar to the old one, which is, is really cool. I like that. Now, this looks a lot like the launcher from World at War. It's a little bit different. Uh, this looks a lot better. Um, well, as it should. It's many years after World at War. But you see, we still have the Asset Manager. Now, from here we can publish. I'm guessing this publishes it right into the uh, into the Steam community uh, community page. I'm guessing because I don't I didn't see anything actually in the community page yet. And the community hub, maybe they haven't put it in yet. It's not too big of a deal because. Uh, it's not like anybody's going to have maps being pushed out the day of the mod tool launch. But yeah, I don't see anything there yet. Um, but yeah, this is this is obviously very cool, and we're going to kick off the series right away. So in, in the next video, I'm going to be starting off with intro introducing the mod tools.